Okie dokie. Well, hi everybody, and once again, it's cast time. And then, um, and, uh, the, the um, uh, image you're seeing right now, it's another, it was another thumbnail from another music video from, uh, Iron Cthulhu Apocalypse. Those that have, uh, checked out my other cast videos know that, uh, I make fairly heavy use of their music. And, um, I don't even remember the, I don't even remember the name of the, uh, I don't remember the name of the album. But yeah, it, it's got to be from at least a year back, though. So, but anyway, um, also for the music. Now, despite, no, I'm not a religious person, but to me, good music is good music, no matter where it comes from. So, but this is going to be a D.I.M. Um, steep Sky, Stained Light. So, but it's, it, you know, it's, it's some pretty, it's some pretty religious sounding music. Um, it's instrumental, so, but yeah, that's, I tend to, I tend to shy away from music with vocals, especially on these cast videos, so, uh, like I'm instrumental, so let me go ahead and get that fired up. Okay, I definitely gotta turn it down from my end, and it did it again. Why it does that, I don't know, but, um. It's been a, it's been a recurring issue, uh, somewhere in the transition between me making this video and starting it, it, uh, jacks up the volume of my headphones up to the max. So, yeah, cause it was just, it was just blared in my earphones. So, anyway, let's get her started. So, um, so yeah, no stream today. Um, in the pretty much in the wake of what what has been hap what has been happening in the past two days, just I was, be, I was practically forcing myself to stream. So I've just been doing it against my better doing my against my better judgment. Ah, uh, seems I'm, seems like I'm gonna be tongue tied today. So anyway, um, but yeah, it just again I was just basically forcing myself to stream. Um, but I probably should have just known better and just not bother at all. Uh, yesterday was the worst. I think, like, maybe one single person came on for a hot minute and then left. So, that's like, that's like two hours I'll never get back right there. So, so today, um, I didn't want to make that same mistake, so I just went ahead and decided to forego the stream and I gotta look at something. Uh, yup. I gotta fix this. YouTube froze up. Okay, there we go. So, but otherwise, um, the work week was actually pretty good. Um, but uh, it all it also needs to be said too that uh, I didn't have to be at work until 10 p.m. rather than my usual eight. So, it just. Uh, an extra two hours of rest, and I'm, I'm up. Uh, that's like two two less hours of wear and tear at work. So, I mean, I kind of, I you know, I kind of want my old schedule back, cause uh, having these uh, basically working 24 hours a week is not sustainable. Um, back when I was working 30 hours a week, it was uh, it was you know, it was basically unsustainable. But now that they're cutting hours, it's even worse. So. Oh, and I did forget to mention towards the start of this uh, start of this video, I got a feeling that I actually got quite a bit to say. But at the same time, too, I could also see this being a pretty quick cast as well. So I just. Got a fair amount to talk about, but on the uh, on the other hand, too, not a whole lot to talk about. It, if that makes any sense at all. But um, let me uh, move along though. Um, I I did, however. Uh, have, okay, there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. I thought YouTube froze up again. But uh, I did uh, I did play quite a bit of NGU Idol. It's the game I've been streaming for the past few days. So, in fact. I have it going right now, so. And 
And I guess while I'm here, let me, uh, let me, uh, clear out my inventory. Still checking stuff. Oh damn, I'm getting really uh, I'm getting really close to uh rebirthing. But anyway, um But yeah, just been uh having that on all day. So um I kind of I kind of wish I could play, uh, I, I totally slipped my mind, but, you know, if I wasn't streaming, why not play Melvore Idol? So, like, but like I said, while I was, uh, while I was putting this together, I had NGU Idol on my mind, so, like I said, you know, I didn't, I just now thought of, uh, maybe just playing Melvore Idol instead, since, once again, uh, I'm not, I didn't stream today, so, I can't, uh, uh, those... For those that haven't checked out my other cast, the um, the game I'm really wanting to stream is called Melvore Idol. It's an idol game based on RuneScape, but my OBS program it doesn't recognize it. The only way I can get it to work on my computer is I have to do like a, it's called display capture, where my OBS program captures what's on my what's on my screen at that very moment. That's the only way I can make it work, which it just I'm the kind of person that likes to hop around between windows a lot, so it just it just would have made a it would have made the stream really wonky. But like I said, um, overall a pretty good work week. So it there, I didn't no no monstrous aches or pains or anything like that. Although if uh, a few weeks ago is anything to go by, um. That could probably change uh, tomorrow morning. I think, like a few weeks ago, like I woke up, like I think it was Saturday morning, my whole right arm is just, oh, I get hurt like hell. So I mean, who knows? I might uh lay down here tomorrow morning and end up with like one or you know one or both of my arms just hurting like hell. But we'll we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, that's that on that. But um, one thing I did, one thing I did do today, is um, I also tried getting some pinball going, um, fired up some FX3, and um, I was just a little, just a hair above the, uh, I was just barely out of the red, so I had to, I had to play. Um, I think I tried fishtails, and I actually ended up um. Uh, I ended up figuring it out at the very last minute. Ended up beating the high score. So, it, um, the kind of the way the table works, if you, uh, there's a captive ball right in the center. There's like a, and there's two center ramps. Um, in be or there's a captive ball in between the two center ramps. What you, um, I was actually, what I was trying to do, um, Normally, what you want to do is you want to alternate between the left and right uh, center ramps, alternate them back and forth until eventually a hurry up is lit on the left spinner. Hit that spinner to get the hurry up. Um, I think I talked about this in my previous cast, but that's where uh, a lot of your score comes from. Um, I found out on accident that if you uh, the if you hit the captive ball in the middle, it'll give you a it'll give you an award. Like at first, it gives you you can uh, you can you can get a whole bonus where uh your uh your end of ball bonus will carry over to the next ball. It's called a hold bonus. Um, then um, but then you uh you you light up the next feature, that or the next uh, captive ball reward by shooting the right ramp. 
Well, this time around, I was actually having an easier time hitting that right ramp than it was the, uh, the two center ramps. It's just one of those, usually it's the other way around. I have an easier time hitting the ramps than hitting that damn loop. But not this time around. Um, I'll, I'll kind of talk more about why, but anyway. Um, but yeah, I would smack that captain ball, get the reward, but then, and then, but then accidentally, accidentally hit the, um, hit the right loop, which, uh, would light up the next, light up the next, uh, mode on the captain ball, which is, again, this, uh, the second thing, you, the second thing you get after the, uh, after you get whole bonus, I mean, again, again, you, uh, the pattern is, you hit the captain ball, um, gain that, unlock that mode, or unlock that feature, then you, uh, in order to light up the next one, you have to hit the right loop, and then you hit the captain ball, rinse and repeat. Um, I think it's the, the second or third mode, it's called Rock the Boat, and, uh, for, like, 10 or 20 seconds, um, every time you make one of the ramp shots, you get a huge score, and I believe it, uh, it ramps up, like, your first, your first ramp shot will, will award you 10 million points, the second ramp, 20 million, the third one, 30, and so on, so, the last 30 seconds, I managed, during this, uh, rock the boat mode, I managed to hit that ramp two or three times, jacking up the score, and also, I forgot to mention too, I'm also using a double score bonus. It's an it's an active buff, meaning meaning you have to actually, you know, turn it on. Turn it on and off, or toggle it, toggle it I should say. So you toggle it on just before you get that rock the boat bonus, and then turn it off. It's just well you just you know it's just well timed. So I did that. I beat the high score and it got me in it, I think it pushed me back it pushed me right back into like into the middle of the rankings. I'm like right in the middle in the uh Yeah, I'm like right in the middle in the rankings. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea. Hold on. But after that, bailed out of that and then went on over to Pinball Arcade where same problem I've been having and I kind of alluded to this fact when playing FX3. Input lag. So, it's, you know, I, every time I try to, you know, every time I flip, there's like this, there's like a half second, there's like a half second of lag there. So it's really, it's causing me to, you know, miss shots. It's causing me to flub my flips, like, uh, and I, I definitely noticed this on uh, some of the tables I was playing on arcade. You know, I'm, you know, I'm trying to ca I'm trying to catch the ball with the flipper, but instead, I end up uh, because of that input lag, I end up whoosh, batting that ball away instead. Holy shit! I'm talking about some horse. <coughs> oh. I'm gonna try to take another drink. So, but, but yeah, so, and like I usually do, I tried recording the session, but it, the session was just so bad that I just abandoned it entirely and just deleted the, deleted the video file. It just wasn't, it wasn't worth uploading. But just, I'm gonna have to try again tomorrow, or whenever I get another chance. And then um, this is gonna this is a uh, kind of a serious issue, and this is something that uh this is kind of impromptu. I stumbled across this while putting this cast together, so this wasn't this wasn't part of the original plan. Like I said, I I was Google searching something I don't remember what, and uh this um this article came up. I figured uh oh, better check this out. So. And probably one of the biggest reasons why is uh, on a 
On a couple of my recent cast videos, it's been an issue. Oh, excuse me. Just a moment. Okay. But one of the, a couple prob a couple issues I had is um now when I do these cast videos um what the first thing I do is part of my um uh, my preset my preset routine for lack of a better phrase is uh I do copyright checks on all the music albums that I'm gonna play during my cast videos. So and uh, if there are if there are, if, if there's no issues, then I use them. But if they're copyright protected, I don't use them. Well, I've been coming across a big problem lately. Now, I've I've quote unquote only had it happen twice so far. But um, again, I would do a copyright check. That album would come up a okay. Okay, so then. I use it in my cast video. It gets up, or let me back up a bit. But uh, right after uh, I get that cast video uploaded, um, and then it tells me that it's copyrighted. Like, what the fuck? You know, because once again, I did my earlier copyright check and it came up fine. But now, after I made my cast video and just before, just before I publish it, it tells me that it's copyrighted. So, so yeah, needless to say, that kind of pisses me off a little. Um, but it also kind of needs to be said here too that um, it's um, the situation I'm in now is not as bad as earlier. I've had a couple, two or three instances where probably the absolute wor absolute worst culprit of this is epidemic sound. Again, those that have checked out my other cast videos know what I'm talking about. Like, like I have, like, I have, I have to actually, for, for stuff that's uh, for stuff that's owned by Epidemic Sound, I have to actually fully publish my videos, and then they'll then they'll copyright claim that video after I've gone through all that trouble. So they're the absolute worst. But now what I'm going. This time, what I'm going through now, I mean, it's it's still telling me that my uh, video is copyrighted, but it's doing this before I actually publish it. So it's a little bit better, but again, what's kind of pissing me off now is uh is once again, I do a copyright check before I do you know before I even get started on my cast video, uh, like this music that you're hearing now. I copyright checked it and it came out all right. So, so, but even then, there might still be a chance that when I start uploading this cast video, it'll tell me that this video is going to be copyright claimed. So, like I said, this is some bullshit. So, but once again, I'm kind of trying to sketch in some context into what I'm about to talk about here on this article. Okay, and uh, I got to run back and check my NGU game real fast. Because I'm going to have quite a bit to say on this. Okay, still working on it. Alright. So. Anyway. Um. And I, I kind of lost my train of thought, but I just wanted to, I kind of wanted to go over this article because this is something I have a serious vested interest in because the biggest, so the biggest, for those that are wondering why, why uh, copyrighted music is such a huge issue with me is because probably like a lot of you, I've had to deal with this before I got YouTube premium. I've had to deal with that, unskippable ads. But apparently, from what I saw of this, and as of yesterday, their YouTube started to go back to this shit. And it looks like now, according to the picture here, they're um, they're stiff, they're stiffing you with as many as ten ads on one video. Yeah, they started up. Uh, Showing more unskippable ads to free users.
Yeah. Up to 10 ads during ad breaks. Five unskippable pre-roll ads. Yeah, it's... Google has yet to announce any change for users of seen, however. Okay. Two ads weren't enough, but now you don't want to play five ads and no one cares. This may happen with a certain type of ad format called bumper ads since they're only up to six seconds long. I kind of know what they're talking about here. And, um, but again, and kind of, um, kind of part and parcel to this, you know, because again, I have YouTube Premium, so I don't have to deal with ads, but you know, but once again, like a lot of you, um, I was a free user as well. So yeah, I too have had to deal with uh, have had to deal with ads, and I've done my fair share of uh, hitting the F5 button. You know, refresh the page. I've had to sit there and hit F5 constantly until uh, until I got a video that didn't have any ads in it. So I've been there. So that's also it's. So again, I'm mostly addressing. I'm mostly addressing the people that have probably never seen any of my other cast videos or probably any of my other content for that matter. So why? Why, um, whenever, whenever one of my videos gets copyright claimed, I take it very seriously. So it's, but yeah, that's, that's the big, that's the reason. It's, I don't, I want all my videos to be ad free. I don't want to put other people through what I've gone through. And I sure so don't want to be a, you know, and I, I would feel like a, I would feel like a dick if I, you know, if I just sat there and, Oh, are my are ads on your video? Well, just get YouTube Premium. It's eleven bucks a month, and you'll you'll get rid of them. I kind of feel like an asshole if I, you know, you know, it's like I'm just, you know, hand wave, you know, hand waving the problem, or just, you know, a way of telling everybody, ah, or just, hang on, I'm trying to find the right words here, or just a a way of, uh, you know, bucking off the complainers, I, for lack of a better phrase, you know, being dismissive. I think that's the word I'm looking for. Um. Now, me personally, eleven nine, um, twelve bucks a month for for as much as I use is for as much as I use YouTube, you know, for watching stuff, and uh, you know, and content creation. Oh, and it also needs to be mentioned too. Um something that I I don't really say very often at all, but um I unlike the vast majority of people, I don't my computer is here in the living room. It's not in, it's you know, it's not in my bedroom. It's not in it's not in the den. You know, it's not in the computer room like a lot of other people's are. No, mine's out here in the living room. So I, I basically, I do everything out here in the living room. So it, it, it isn't just, you know, I come out here in the living room to watch TV, you know, you know, flipping through the basic channels and then, you know, and then go into my, go into a set, you know, go into a separate room to do my computing. No, I do everything out here in my living room. So for me, the, the twelve dollars a month for YouTube Premium, that's that's worth its weight in gold right there. But I can totally see uh, how other people can see uh, can see paying for a subscription can be a rip off. They may not be on their computer that much. You know, they, you know, they might just want to go in the go in their bedroom and sit on and watch some videos or something. You know, some non television related stuff. And I'm gonna take another drink. Hold on. And I 
gotta look at YouTube. I think it's... No, it's still working. Okay, I'm gonna... Okay, my idle game's okay. So, but like I said, you know, for somebody like myself, where, um, where I use YouTube a lot, the, the $12 a month is worth it. But, you know, for those that are only on their computers, like, part of the time, I could see, uh, I could see 12 bucks a month being too much to ask. So, and then, I've never used this. YouTube Music Premium. I mean, I get all the music I need off YouTube itself, not the music part of it. Okay, but it looks like um, it looks like that's it for that. But yeah, kind of again, kind of a quick recap. Um, just been having a problem lately with um. Oh shit, that the header is up there. I thought I had that cut off, but nope. But yeah, kind of a kind of a quick recap. Um those that are wondering why I'm very why I'm uh, I'm pretty anal about whether or not my uh, content is copyright claimed, that's the biggest reason why right there. I don't want to inflict other people with stuff that I've had to deal with, like ads, especially the unskippable ones. So it's why I try to take steps to make sure that my videos are ad free. Probably say enough of that. And then, kind of on a lighter note, um, this this came up on my YouTube recommendations. Maria Bamford, um, she's one of my all-time favorite comedians. Um, probably sec second only to Robin Williams. But, um, but yeah, it, it popped up in my YouTube recommendations, like I said a few moments ago. Uh, Unwanted Thought Syndrome. I've, I've heard the term, I've heard the name before. I, I didn't know it was an actual album or if it was just, like, one of her stand-ups, you know. You know, but no, um, I guess it was on CD. Um. Like I said, I thought it was... Hang on, I'm kind of racking my brain here. I'm trying to remember where I last heard it. I can't remember. But anyway, uh, but it, it popped up. Um, I watched a little bit of it, and I'm like... I'm like, damn, this is... I mean, damn, this is awesome. Or kind of, kind of. I kind of, I kind of do need to explain this a little bit. My all-time favorite band is The Residents. Those that have checked out my other cast videos or those that know me well enough, you know, they know this about me. But they're my favorite band despite the fact that a lot of their music is very hit or miss. I mean, you know, some of the, you know, some of the music they put out, even I'm like, what the fuck is this? Maria Bamford is kind of like this too, again one of my all-time favorite comedians, but yet, some of, the, you know, some of the stuff she does on there actually has me, even has me going, what the hell is this? So, but yet, there she is, number two on my all-time favorite comedians list. You know, second only to Robin Williams. Um, I think, uh, way back in the day, I think I watched, uh, part of her Maria Bamford show, like maybe her first few episodes. I mean, even it was watching that stuff. I I actually find her. She's got to be one of the most intimidating people I've ever known in my life. Like she scares me more than more than a biker does. In fact, now that I think about it, I can't remember if it was her or not. I'm I'm racking my brain right now. No, um, it was, um, it was an old documentary that I watched probably about a year ago, Special One Lit. It's a documentary about pinball, pinball players and stuff. I think, um, 
I kind of said the same thing about them that I'm saying about Maria Bamford. I actually find the, the pinball geeks a lot more intimidating than a freaking biker. You know, or, or like a neo-Nazi or something. They don't, they don't intimidate me as much as uh, Maria Bamford or, you know, pinball geeks. But yeah, it just, Hang on, I gotta, I gotta take another drink. <sighs> but yeah, like, like I said, I just watched a few episode episodes of her show. But yeah, they were, they were hard to watch. And even then, I think I, I think I probably had to skip through. Uh, I had to fast forward a little bit on some of them, but but once again, um, but despite all that, she's still number two on my all-time favorite comedian list. So, I mean, there's 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 probably something I want to say about this too. Again, I've probably said this in other in other videos too. I mean, and. I caught her. I kind of wonder if it's true for a lot of for other people too. It is, you know, just because I say something is my favorite, doesn't mean I like all their content. I mean, Frank Zappa is another one. You know, he's one of my all time one of my all time favorite bands, as well as one of my all time favorite people. Actually, I could probably I could probably do one better. Henry Rollins. He's one of my all time favorite authors. Um, he's, and he's one of my all-time favorite, crazy as this might sound, he's one of my all-time favorite philosophers, too. But again, even, even then, though, if, if you listen to a, a good chunk of his music, a good chunk of his music just makes me go, God damn, man, calm down, dude. Or, you know, you know, are very, real, real cringy and awkward. But even then, I think I think even by his own admission, um, after he did his like "Come In and Burn" album, I sometime after he did that album, I think he said that he was gonna retire. It just the 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 music climate just wasn't conducive for the kind of music that he was putting out. So he figured it was t it was high time for him to step off. It just stick to writing and spoken word. But I, but again, I mean, same thing. Same thing there. Same thing there too. I mean, you know, just because um, Henry Rollins is one of my you know biggest inspirations in my life doesn't mean I like everything that he does. You know, I I sure as hell don't worship the ground he walks on. So. Okay, but um, otherwise, that's going to do it for me, everybody. I think I've said all the things that I wanted to say. And um, I forgot to say this at the start of the video, but this was basically an incomplete video. Um, it got to where it was like around 10, 30, 11. Um, I was, I'm still trying to get the thing put, still trying to get the video put together and all that, but uh. There was, it just, more and more, there was, like, more and more stuff in my head, more and more ideas I wanted to get out on paper, you know, and it just, I had to cut it off at some point, basically I had to kind of triage it, if that makes any sense at all, so, so, yeah, it, so, sorry if I, sorry if I trailed off here and there, um, you know, kind of got lost in thought and stuff, because, once again, there was, there was a lot more I was wanting to say and put on the page, than what you saw here, or I should say, what you saw and heard. So, but like I said, I, I ideally want to do these between uh, ten, between eleven to eleven thirty p.m. 
that's why I don't want to do these casts. And so 11.30, 11.30 was rolling around, so I had, just, I had to go with what I got. Um, but otherwise, hey, thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. Always do. And then um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow. So, but until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.